You don't need to lift Herculean amounts of weight to sculpt your muscles or gain muscle mass. I know what you're thinking, and no, this is not a too good to be true kind of video. I'll start by going through a range of exercises that have this muscle building effect in case you're in a hurry. Next, I'll explain the science behind and the best practices to build your own zero weight muscle building routine. And I'll add timestamps to everything. But first, remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. You can also hit the notification bell to get more of my quality content. Let's dive in. Exercises to build muscle without weights. There are two main types of exercises that build muscle without using weights. Body weight and resistance training. One, body weight exercises use your body's weight to provide mechanical tension. That tension acts like a force against which your muscles have to push. When they exercise against it, your muscles rupture slightly and these ruptures allow them to grow bigger. Body weight exercises that work well include squats, lunges, deadlifts, push-ups, rhomboid squeezes, tricep dips, crunches, strength building yoga exercises, and of course, the queen of all body weight exercises, the plank. To reap the most benefits of all these exercises, contract your muscles throughout the movement to create a bigger force to work against. Pro tip. You can change any traditional weightlifting exercise to a bodyweight exercise by simply contracting your muscles. You can do bodyweight bicep curls, chest presses, deadlifts, and more. Contracting your muscles without using weights is called an antagonistic movement. I'll discuss that in the last section. For now, let's move on to point two. Resistance training. Resistance training uses bands to create that mechanical tension against which your muscles work. But there's more than that. Some resistance exercises can support your body in more challenging positions. That means you can work out your muscles more comprehensively from different angles. The main types of resistance training you can try are 1. Using resistance bands for all major body weight movements such as squats, push-ups, donkey kicks, bicep curls, overhead presses, side lunges, and so forth. 2. Using TRX bands. You can install TRX bands if you have the room in your home. These bands make regular exercises more difficult because they target your muscles from different angles and positions. That's why you may feel that a typical lunge is easy, but a TRX lunge with your hind leg hanging from a strap is considerably more difficult. The same goes for a plank where your feet hang in the TRX straps or TRX chest flies, which imply lifting your body by pulling on the bands. Three. Fitness balls. Fitness balls provide resistance because they help your muscles engage to maintain stability. TRX bands and resistance bands create mechanical tension from the outside. But fitness balls create mechanical tension from inside your muscles. And again, you can imagine a slew of exercises using fitness balls, the classical push-ups, hamstring curls, crunches, inner thigh squeezes, back extensions, and more. Four, swimming. In the case of swimming, water creates the resistance you'll work against. This resistance enhances muscle strength and improves your endurance. So, you may not see your muscles grow the size of a bodybuilder's. However, you will see them become stronger, leaner, and more sculpted. You will particularly see improvements in your shoulders, chest, abs, back, hamstrings, glutes, and triceps. 5. Using fitness equipment. Some fitness machines create that resistance your muscles need to work against. Treadmills, stationary bikes, and ellipticals. These are all great examples. But to build the maximum amount of muscle, ensure they can feature enough resistance. For the treadmills, you'll need a sufficient incline with enough increments in between. Treadmills with built-in resistance bands for the upper body will engage your arms, chest, and back muscles. For elliptical and stationary bikes, you need to check the level of magnetic resistance. Spin bikes are best for muscle development, but other bikes can also build muscle strength and endurance. And just like with treadmills, consider a stationary bike with built-in resistance bands. That brings us to the next section. How do muscles grow? If you're still sticking with me, thank you. In this section, I'll explain how muscles grow. This information will help you understand how to build your own workouts without weights at home or while traveling. Let's start. Muscles grow due to protein synthesis, which is the process of creating protein molecules. 
and three factors affect muscle development. 1. Mechanical tension or mechanical stress, which we already talked about. This means you must exercise a certain force on your muscle tissue. 2. Muscle damage. When muscle fibers are damaged, your body responds by repairing and rebuilding them, creating new muscle fibers in the process. As part of this process, the body also adds contractile proteins to the muscle fibers, making them thicker and stronger. This process, known as muscle hypertrophy, is the primary mechanism behind muscle mass creation. Muscle hypertrophy is triggered by a combination of mechanical stress on the muscle fibers and metabolic stress within the muscle cells. That brings us to Point 3. Metabolic stress. This occurs when the energy demand of your muscle cells exceeds their supply of oxygen and glycogen. The best exercises to create metabolic stress are high-intensity ones, leading your heart rate in the fat-burning or anaerobic zone. Bodyweight exercises in this category include HIIT, high-intensity interval training, and plyometric workouts. How to maximize muscle growth without weights. Now you know how muscles grow. You need to create enough mechanical and metabolic stress on them. But here's the catch. Your progress can stagnate as you become stronger. With traditional strength training, you increase the weights to avoid fitness plateaus. Here's what you can do with zero weight strength training. 1. Increase your sets. You can create more mechanical stress by increasing the number of reps you're doing. 2. Increase the difficulty. Challenge yourself by doing harder modifications. If you've mastered the basic squat, move on to resistance band squats, pistol squats, bosu ball squats, jump squats, and the list can go on. Basically, you have almost infinite variations for each such exercise. 3. Contract your muscles intentionally, antagonistic movement. If you're starting to plateau, squeeze your muscles consciously as you're doing your workouts. Focus on moving slower than usual to really feel that burn. 4. Yes, you guessed it, it's moving slower than usual. This slow and controlled movement creates more mechanical stress, having your muscles work harder and thus growing faster. For example, you can do rocket squats or 3 2 1 squats. Squat holds will also challenge your butt and legs more than a typical squat. 5. Do pulses. Pulsing at the maximum point of contraction enhances mechanical tension, muscle damage, and metabolic stress. Here are just a few examples. Lunge pulses, push-up pulses, tricep dip pulses, crunch pulses. Try them all and tell me which one's your favorite in the comments. 6. Do variations. It's important to target your muscles from different angles to produce micro-ruptures on all sides of that muscle. Besides, this tactic helps build up your range of motion and endurance. And that means you can produce more mechanical stress on your muscles to have them grow faster. Let's take the basic lunge. Variations can include side lunges, curtsy lunges, TRX lunges, race lunges with your feet on a fitness box, and more. 7. Use plyometric movements. Plyometric exercises, also known as jump training, involve rapid and explosive movements designed to increase power and explosiveness in the muscles. Plyometric exercises are often used by athletes in sports such as basketball, volleyball, and track and field, as well as by fitness enthusiasts looking to improve their overall athleticism and strength. Plyometric exercises involve a phase of rapid muscle stretching, followed by a sudden contraction of the same muscle group to create explosive power. They focus on building fast twitch muscle fibers, which are responsible for quick, powerful movements. Remember, these exercises are high impact, so you should perform them cautiously to prevent injury. One example of plyo exercise is box jumps. Basically, you'll jump onto a box or platform from a standing position and then step back down. Box jumps develop explosive power in your legs while also enhancing your balance and coordination. Another good, though mostly hated example is burpees. This full body exercise combines a squat, push up, and jump. The gist of it is you'll drop into a squat, kick your feet back into a push up position, return to a squat, and then jump up as high as possible. Some people also do a push-up while they're in that high plank position just for the fun of it. Burpees work multiple muscle groups and have a bevy of strength and cardio benefits. So, there you have it. You now know the best exercises to build your muscle without using weights. 
You also know what makes muscles grow, so you can now go forth and create your own routine. I'm also curious about what muscle building exercises without weights you've been doing by now, and what will you try from this video? Let's keep talking in the comments. But remember to first like this video and subscribe to this channel so we can build our community stronger than ever.